Well, surprise, surprise. Who would have thought it? That Sunak, who since the very beginning of his premiership, has been basically giving in to rebellion after rebellion, and we've had rebellions about rebellions, has actually given in to, surprise, surprise, a Tory rebellion. Who knew this would happen? You would have to be blind to obviously not see that this was what was going to happen, because this has been the feature of the Sunak government. Sunak is so weak, he even knows it. He cannot even stand up for any second against any of these groups. And what's even more hilarious, of course, is the fact that this very own rebellion is supposedly being stoked by his own Home Secretary, Suella Braverman. And the fact that she has apparently been the most responsible for stoking these rebellions, supposedly even having secret meetings with this group to inform them about what was going on. And by the way, this group of MPs in particular who have been very much responsible for this rebellion, well, they're called the Common Sense Group. And to be honest, there isn't much common sense about them, to be honest, because this is going to have a huge, huge potential negative reaction. And what negative reaction we are going to see? Well, it's going to come from the EU, and it's probably not going to be very good. But once again, Sunak has caved to the Tory right. So what are the concessions they've got on this? Well, we'll go into that in a bit. But before we do that, please remember to click that like, share, and subscribe button. And of course, down below, we've got the uh, Patreon page. We've got the Pony Club as well down below. Like I say, to both the Patreon members and the Pony Club members, we have just today done the Liz Trust question and answer session so you can get to watch me suffer more from Liz Truss's freedom lecture if you want to uh, head over and, and watch those. But please remember to, to watch this first. And of course, do remember to click on the like, share and subscribe buttons, of course, if you are new. And of course, down below, there are a link to Patreon page, one of nation link called Buy Me Coffee, where you can well, buy me coffee. And of course, the YouTube thank you button as well as the Pony Club down below as well. So what has happened? What has been the big change? Well, according to what we know from some of these Tory rebels, they have very much realized that Sunak has seemed to have staked his entire premiership on stopping the boats. He staked his entire premiership on that notion that he and he alone will be able to stop these boats. And that those Tory MPs are now greatly concerned that just as Suella Braverman failed, and of course, Pretty Patel viewed as an absolute failure in the Home Office because she couldn't get this under control either, that they are now worried this would topple his entire premiership. If Sunak can't solve this problem, and bear in mind, this is not or should not be their, their most pressing concern. We've got, by the looks of it, spiraling inflation, which is causing massive problems economically in the UK. And yet Sunak and Hunt are seem pretty much content on the the entire bet that they made that that inflation was going to go down. They have made this bet that inflation is going to go down. So they have done nothing to try and curb this inflation. And instead, inflation continues to go up, which is causing other huge problems. Meanwhile, of course, the Tory right concerned about these small boat crossings, which represent a tiny, tiny fraction of people who actually come to the UK. Most people when they arrive as, as as migrants in the UK, do not come by these small boats. They only come, or the vast majority, arrive by plane. Yet I do not see Nigel Farage camped out at Heathrow Airport or any other airport in the UK with his binoculars going, ah, oh, look, there's a, there's a plane coming in. It's got migrants on, full of them. It's full of them. Why? Because it would make them look like absolute nutcases. Because... 
It really, really is an absolute nutcase idea to be able to think that they can stop these small boats when time and time again, they've been told, if you want to stop these small boats and stop this massive backlog, then here's what you need to do. Set up safe routes that work. Because when they have set up these other safe routes for Syrians or Afghans, they haven't worked. So set up a safe route that actually works, that actually enables them to come across so that they don't have to rely on these people smugglers. They don't have to risk their lives on this dangerous crossing. Then actually refund the system of asylum applications that the Tories have deliberately defunded. It's not hard. And yet, this entire right-wing group has now forced concessions on Sunak, supposedly also being very much fomented by Suella Braverman, to basically ignore European Court of Human Rights rulings, specifically Section 39 rulings. Um, let me just double that. Yes, yeah, Section 39 orders. So they can, basically, Suella Braverman can just ignore those rulings. And those rulings ultimately do stop uh, people being sent to Rwanda. Now, they have stopped short of calling to leave the European Court of Human Rights, because as we've said before, if you leave that, not only does this call into question the withdrawal agreement, because that court is itself is running through that entire agreement, like, you know, uh, like letters through rock, through, you know, a stick of rock, but also is one of the key organizations that is ensuring the Good Friday Agreement. And if we were to leave that, it would call into question one of the most successful peace agreements in the entire world. So this is what they have done. They have, Sunak has caved to them. They've got this admission. They've got this into the bill. And instead of maybe trying to put it in as amendment where they might be defeated, they have got Sunak themselves to put this into the bill. And we know that there are apparently potentially others that the Home Office that Suella Braverman wants to add herself. So this is an absolute weakness of Rishi Sunak caving to these right-wingers who want to try and not legitimately tackle the problems. Because if they did want to legitimately tackle the problems, like I say, we've already mentioned the two solutions they could do to, to solve this problem. Instead, they want to appear hard on migration because they are worried about a very much resurgent uh, right-wing party, namely the Reform Party. And like I say, if you saw our live stream yesterday, you saw uh, Richard Trice go over uh, what essentially would probably be his platform, not only at these local elections, but also at a national level as well. And ultimately, that is what they are worried about. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. And of course, please do remember to click on the like, share and subscribe button. And of course, do remember to leave a comment down below as well. That helps with the algorithmical stuff. And of course, we've got the Patreon page, the One After Nation link called Buy Me Coffee, where you can buy me coffee. We've got the Pony Club. We've got the YouTube thank you button. They're all down below for you to check out. And of course, as always, thank you very much for watching. And of course, as always, we will see you all next time. Yes. <laughs> so we'll see you all very soon.